readers. Today's lesson is called Do Your Best. Do your best. That's a great sentence. We should always try our best. Whether we're learning something in math, whether we're cleaning up our room, and whether we're working on our reading skills, we will always do our best. Now I'm going to pretend I am a kindergartner and I'm going to look at a Pete the Cat book, but I'm not going to do my best. And I want you to watch and see some things that I'm doing wrong, okay? Watch me for mistakes. I'm not doing my best yet. Um. Do you think that was very good reading? Oh my gosh. That was not very good reading. That was not my best. I was not sitting still. I was not even holding the book correctly. I did not take my time. I was not doing my best. Did you see me? I was wiggling around. I was falling down on my chair. I was flipping through the pages so fast. That's not good reading. Whew. Can you think of anything else that I could do better? So now I'm gonna use that book again and I'm gonna to try to be still and I'm gonna concentrate and I'm gonna look at each page and try to do my best. Whew. All right, I'm gonna find a place to be comfortable and read. Pete the Cat, rocking in my school shoes. Oh, oh look at all those cats going on the bus. The cat rocking in my school shoes. Oh. oh, he's got four shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Did that seem a little bit better? I stayed in one place. I held my book nicely and I looked at the pages slowly. And that's what I want you to work on today. You're gonna to find some books, find a cozy place, quickly and quietly get started. And today we're gonna to add on, do your best. Do your best means you take your time. It's not a rush, it's not a race. You're going to be reading today for five to 10 minutes. You can do it. Take your time. Do your best, enjoy it, because each minute with a book makes you smarter and smarter. So do your best. 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 You can do it, reader.